Dear Diary, I am starting you today because just a few weeks or months from now, I may be in prison. And in prison, I won't be able to do all the things I used to do, so I'll just have to do you instead. So it seems sensible for me to start doing you right now. At home right now, I have my suits, I have my ties, I have a jet that can fly me to any one of a number of different golf courses. I have a wife who hates me. She's kicking around here someplace. I never see her, which in many ways makes her my ideal wife. But on the flip side, she won't make sweet, sweet love with me. In fact, she won't touch me. Full disclosure, she won't even look at me. Actually, now that I come to think of it, I'm straining to remember the last time we were even in the same room together. It could have been a month ago or more. Hell, it could have been five minutes ago. I really have no idea. I'm told that in prison, I won't be allowed to wear my suits, my ties. I won't be allowed to golf. And I certainly won't be allowed in my jet. And I still won't see my wife. What's her name? So something good will come out of it. Though they say that I will have a husband when I'm inside, and his name will likely be Bubba. I don't know if that's true, or if it's just more of the white nationalist racism that I've come to expect from Stephen Miller. God, how I'll miss that pale, vampiric face. Anyway, this entry into you, dear diary, is just a trial run. You probably weren't expecting it, and you definitely didn't ask for it. But that's how all of my entries go. But it's okay, because that's a civil matter and not a criminal one. So that's one of the few crimes I won't be going to prison for. But it's going to cost me a lot of money. Oh, God, my money. I hadn't thought about that until now. What will happen to all my beautiful money? If they ever let me out, it'll probably all be gone squandered by Don Jr. or the idiot boy with their bad investments. Or more likely, spent by what's her name, my wife and that have a woman. I hope that future generations can read these words, blurred and smeared as they are by the tears I am shedding. I'm not sure that I can go on. Not tonight. Farewell. Donald J. Trump. P.S. One more thing I have to do before I get sent to the big house. Learn how to write.